everyone, it's me, Alan, and welcome back to Al Son. Today, we're basically just going to be showing you um, how to create a human being, like the head, the body, and also the legs, and also the arms, and also any extra tools that the human being wants to use. So, we're not going to be doing any animating today, just creating the human. So, let's get on to it. <music> this comes C. It doesn't do anything. You don't want the cat, so tap the lead. If you don't know how to get to this costume bar, go there, click it, so tap the circle, tap the fill, like, like what I've been showing you in the past videos. It always starts out with purple. So this right here, saturation. Want to go up. Right here, this one to go down. Right here <clears throat> to get this orangey color. I love scratch, it's the best. Um, we want this brightness bar to go down to make brown. See, that was a rhyme to go down to make brown. Okay, so yeah. Um, hopefully, you guys are still watching because, um, this is where it gets interesting. So yeah, after you've duplicated it, like what I just did, if you don't understand how to duplicate it, um, please, there's an easier way. Like, if you actually want to understand all this stuff I'm doing, you must really go and watch, watch my other videos. They're really going to help you understand this if you have not watched them yet. Look, check this out. You tap the line thing like that. Do, 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 do. So hopefully you're just following me. Like the time, the times that I'm actually not talking and saying anything, that those times are the times that I'm expecting um you to just follow every single move that I do. Yeah. The way how to make these lines, if, if I'm asking, click one point, then drag it to the point that you want it to. Like if you want over here, that just creates a line. That's what you drag. And if you want to continue it, I haven't seen this tiny circle that my mouse start tapping. I, I'm not doing anything to activate it. It's just automatic. Then tap that, then drag it to the place that you want it to. I want to delete that now. You don't have to do what I'm doing right here because I created this thing. You don't have to do that. Um, yeah, the nose is what we're focusing on. If if, you, if you're having trouble creating this nose, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna create a bigger nose. Do this. Drag from one point to another point. Do this again. If, if you're having trouble creating a small nose, then just create this big nose right here. Hopefully you guys are still watching. Kind of looks like a finger. So yeah, this thing, this right here is actually is a finger. If you didn't know, I'm giving myself a backup finger. You should probably do the exact same because we will we need this. So yeah, create this. Do this right here. So that's basically your nose. Then zoom in with the zoom in bar. Then get in here. The way how to make this nose, like if you got this nose, then just create, make it smaller. Then actually this fits. <clears throat> if you don't, if you, your new nose is what I have right here, then don't worry, it's not bad. Just do this, do this. You can make your own nose any way you want. Grab a circle. After you've done this, take a paintbrush, do this, 
put this, drag it down. And I've created an ear. Yep, an ear. So you basically already have a head. You can do this way faster than me. Honestly, because I'm explaining to you guys. So yeah, do what I'm doing. Now I'm just to do this. Create a circle. I want to create a pupil, copy paste this, do this, after you've copied and pasted it, um, tap, tap it, after you tapped it, it, click this part right here, drag it down, to make it smaller. So yeah, um, this whack right here is the exact same whack that we need for the pupil. Okay, so now, um, the, the other parts of the body may seem hard because the head took us so long. It actually doesn't take long. Just duplicate the head. Do this right here. Got the back. Basically looks big. But we don't want that. Trust me guys, this is gonna be worth it. You wanna do this. If you don't like this, you wanna create your own. This dupe. That is um right here. Then um choose any color that you want his shirt to be. I want his to be red. This is the half part and this is the part that just goes up. Yeah, do you want to see your little hands? Please unfold this. This is gonna be very important, guys. Follow this. After you follow the step, this part right here that I'm about to do is very tricky. Keep on tapping to zoom in because this is going to be very important. So yeah. What we're basically going to do now is the hands. So yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, I am kind of getting, um, yeah, these, these hands are going to look more amazing. Okay, I made a mistake right there. <clears throat> so yeah, the simplest way to make a hand is to do this. Doop. Make a giant clump of a hand. After you've done that, then just make a thumb. That one is the easiest way. Then, um... Don't know how to scroll up then um if you're using a, a key if you're using um a desktop i'm using a laptop if you're using a desktop then take the tiny mouse and use that tiny circle thing to scroll up and down but if you're using a laptop that mouse huh, you use your two fingers then then move them up and down like this yeah we could, like for example, let's say that this right here is the mouse, then you just scroll up on that. If you, for a new laptop users, like me, I'm also a laptop user. I'm using a laptop right now. So after you've taken that, like I scrolled up to get the, the, the ground color from his head. I tapped it, then I tapped out. To get this thing to be over here, I basically took um the fill. Take the fill. Now it creates this. Now it makes his hand. Oh no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake, guys. Okay. Take the line. 
hopefully make sure that the line is number one because this entire body, the lines have actually been size number four. If, if you've been worrying that, oh no, I have the wrong line number. You see, oh no, the lines of my own are not thick. It's Alan Zone, which is my name, Alan. My name is Alan, yeah. Wait, now you're noticing it. The gigantic finger was useless. Or was it? Gigantic finger was not useless. <clears throat> so that's why I told you. I told you guys to make this gigantic finger because it was very useful. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. You you guys understand this, yeah. Because by now, after watching all my episodes, you should really understand what I'm doing right here. This modifying the finger <laughs> then take the color of the hand big to your finger like he's pointing down see but don't want really it pointing yeah, this is his hand so this thing right here then do this Front and put this right here. And then do this. So my hand right here is bad. Reason, because I'm not actually thinking this too very well. So yeah. If your hand is turning out as bad as mine, I'll show you. What I'm doing right now is very useful. <laughs> um, I basically just like um, doing that. Thank you so much. It's a habit. If you don't know, I've actually been trying to keep it out of my personality in my YouTube videos, but it just keeps on cutting in now. Now that you have a perfect hand with three fingers, three fingers is the easiest way to make it. Five, I mean, with four fingers, sorry. Thumb, one, two, three. You actually take this. What I'm doing right here, um, Tap, hold, drag the entire hand, then um, group it. After we group it, you should notice that this, this entire hand is one object. So yeah, um, this guy is just basically taking inspiration from you, Duck, like I said earlier. Yeah, that, that's why he has three fingers. I mean, like five fingers. I mean, like four fingers. Like you, Duck. Like, um, everyone in DuckTales basically have it, um, so yeah. Now, it's time for the easiest thing, and that will take the least time ever. Um, make a straight line down. Make another straight line down. Join the top cards together. Then, um, make some small customizations if you want to. 
if you don't want to make no customizations, well then you're missing out on so much fun. This right here is a customization, but I've just been straight down in the stock. Put this back. Make this thing a blue. Let's take this thing right here down. Now he base. Um, Hugh Duck doesn't exactly have jeans. So yeah, this part right here with the jeans is completely original because so many people in the world wear jeans. Now it's time for this part. V socks. Hopefully you've been following because this, this character is almost done. I don't exactly know his name. Whatever his name is, it's not going to be Steve. Whatever his name is, it's not going to be Steve because Steve is a very common name. Well, fine, that, 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 that's it. I'm giving him red shoes. That's it. Um, we're done. Guys, we're done creating our character, Steve. We don't actually need this fake nose that we actually created for that. Yeah, um, we're done with Steve. Check out our beautiful Steve. If Steve is too tall, in your opinion, like also in my opinion, and he looks kind of weird, take this. Make it a little bit smaller. Not group. I did not say group. Okay, you know what? Actually, fine. Let's group it. Let's group it. Okay. Okay, let's just group it. Our lovely steam is done. If you made him like this, if you made your. Wait, did I just call him Steve? Sorry! I, I just said that his name's not gonna be Steve. His name is not Steve. Okay, yeah, his name is Johnny. And by the way, um, guess what? Johnny is actually the name of my editor. Um, the person that edits all my videos is Johnny. Um, huge thanks to him. He's actually very good at editing. Like, he must even be um very. Like, I even think that he's been editing for years. That he's amazing. Um, huge props to him. Well, actually, saving our project. Um, press File, tap Save. Then, um, if you have this right here, I'm using Google Chrome, and I'm also not signing to Scratch. That's why I have this, and I didn't get that box screen thing. Yeah. Tap this arrow. Um, then tap Show in Folder. Then you can see all these. I've done so many scratch projects as you can see all these right here are my scratch projects um yeah so back to the first one um all of you please don't be scrolling down i yeah so yeah, yeah. all of this is what i've been doing with you right now i just seen it actually four times right click it right click it then um rename right here tap it and it'll give you this press backspace then you can type in whatever you want I will type okay so yeah hopefully you understood everything that we've been doing so far if you want to know more about coding on scratch then just tell me that in the comments and if and also subscribe like and hit the notification bell to know when I post any more videos bye